Hello everyone, welcome, welcome. My name's Charlie, and today we're gonna be playing some more Happy Home Paradise, making some more paradises, as one does. I'm very pleased about this outfit. It cost me like 8,000 bells, and it just makes me feel like I'm gonna do a good job today. After the horrible prompts we had last time, I am ready. And oh, the good villagers, hello? All right, let's get going, let's get going. Ooh, a place to meditate, okay. Flowers, that's boring. Strength training, okay. None of these are making me feel anything inside yet. Ranch, oh, that's actually kind of interesting. Tipper, I kind of love that. Let's go, let's go. Where will this ranch go? Wow, we've done a lot of houses, oh my gosh. I kind of like this one for a ranch. I'm gonna go here. Oh, this is cute. All right, first order of business. This bridge sucks. We're gonna be going with a wooden bridge. That's very ranchy. The house, maybe we can make it into like a barn type of thing if they have that. Ooh, that's kind of barn-like. I think that looks perfect. Now what items does Tipper want? Ooh, I wonder what the customization looks like. Oh, this, yes. Oh, I wish I had more space so I could like integrate this into the house better. Oh, nuts. Okay, I had a little bit of a brain blast. What if we take these two? My brain blast is not amounting to anything. Hello. Oh, this land sucks. I'm so upset. Okay, so there. This is like the entrance to the ranch. Then I want to get some paths down. Just, yes, like these sort of. I think that'll be good. And this can be like where the livestock are. Perfect. Now a clothesline is absolutely essential, I feel. We can put that down here somewhere. It makes it look very cute and ranchy. Obviously some wheat fields, and I think this windmill would go so perfectly on that little center island. Oh my god, I could cry. I'm gonna try and use these wheat fields to sort of blend in the different areas. I think it makes it look a little more natural. That's kind of what I did on my island, and I think that it turned out really good. We're gonna have a hose here because a hose is essential on a ranch. Or do we want a water pump? That looks even more ranchy. I'm down. Let's go with that. This is Tipper's dog. Oh, she loves it. Okay, perfect. Of course, tip, tippity tipper tip top needs a little dog house. So we're gonna put one over here somewhere. That's cute. Now I think I want to do like a cow ranch because Hipper's a cow, obviously. All I really have is this Taurus bathtub though, so we're gonna have to just go with that. Maybe we'll just have two cows here. And it would be kind of cool if we could put a plant there so it's like they're eating grass or something. Ooh, maybe some weeds? Maybe like that? I think that's good. I kind of like the texture that the weeds add. I've never used these before. I love it though. Now, I also want to use the little, like, milk jug things, the milk cans, because I think those look so cute. Maybe I can put one here, maybe one there. That looks kind of good. Maybe we can hide one in the corner over here. Oh, that looks so good. I love it. Okay, I think we just need to finish Tipper's yard over here, and then we'll probably be done. And we've got this clothesline. If there's, like, a wash bin, I feel like that would go really well with it. Yes. Old-fashioned wash tub. Perfect. Put that there. Boom, wash tub and laundry. So cool. Okay, the outside looks amazing and gorgeous and I love it and it's so cute. So let's go on to the inside and see what we can do there. You can now find pillars and island counters under other, what? Totally forgot. Nico like taught me the crafting recipes for some stuff. I wasn't really paying attention, but maybe we can mess with some of those. Let's see what those look like. We've got some pillars. Those could be good for like a barn build. And then low wooden island counter. Oh, okay, okay. I'm gonna choose the wallpaper and flooring first because I find that that always kind of helps me. Okay, I think I'm gonna go with this because it vaguely looks like the inside of a barn. Don't comment on that, just let me have it. And then maybe if I put some pillars here. I don't know if this has helped us at all. I think it might be better if maybe the wallpaper is like red. Oh, maybe that. Ooh, hold up. I kind of like that. And then if we can change these, um, I think it looks better darker. She is just loving it. I think it might be better if we take those away and put the hay here. So it's kind of like a feeding trough type of deal. 
We can have a tractor in here. This is just a barn. This is like not even Tipper's house. It's just a barn. I'll put this over here, the, the milking materials. I don't like the implications of that, but just let it go. Um, <laughs> I don't like that. Honestly, I feel like this looks great. I wish there was like straw that you could put on the ground, like hay, kind of like this, but I think that this is pretty much done. It would function as a barn, I'd say. All right, I think that this is good. We're done in here. I kind of want to tour the outside though, because I really, really like that. Let's take a bit of a walk through. Tipper's Ranch. Ooh, I like the way that those look. I hope you can walk through them. Ba -ba -ba -da -da. <gasps> Brother, ba -ba oh, she's walking across the bridge. That's so cute. Oh my God. Oh, that little piece of path I didn't put down. Don't pay attention to that. Whoops. Oh, I love the ranch. It looks so good. Except for that one spot where I didn't put the path down. That's totally my bad. Wow. That was a good start. I really like that prompt. I feel like it's the prompts that allow me to be creative. Like last time I got curry or something. Oh, this is like, what about, how am I supposed to make you a curry house, dude? I'm still stressed about it. Oh, who just walked in? It's Nico. Hi, Nico. What's up? Well, I'm not sure where to start. Uh, Vivian. Oh, I hope I haven't caught you in the middle of something. We just ran into each other. Vivian seems confused. She looked like she couldn't make up her mind about coming inside. I wish to try having a roommate, one whom I'll get along with. It's not because I'm lonely being on my own or any such thing as that. I have myself to talk to, after all. Having a vacation home is so fun. I think that perhaps it would be nice to share the fun with someone else. That is a great point. The problem is I haven't the faintest clue who might make a good roommate. How should I go about finding someone suitable? Can I choose, please? Please let me choose. Wouldn't it be good to get Charlie to help too? Yes. I did do the design for your vacation home. I am the only person that should be choosing who goes into it. Okay, so you'll find a roomie for our client, right, Charlie? An island visitor who will be great match for Vivian. Find him, explain the details to him, and bring him this way. Vivian has like a workout type of house. We can check the restaurants. I'm not sure. Anybody in here? Oh, Daisy might be cute. Hmm. I don't think Daisy is like exercise e active. What's the word? <laughs> I don't know the word. Active. We'll say active. Maybe in Five Guys? I don't think Five Guys is the right place to find somebody that likes working out, but maybe. Uh, okay, I have an idea. I have an inkling. I think I know who I'm gonna choose. It's gotta be Tad, right? Oh, oh, never mind. Would I room with Vivian? I don't know. I definitely need to meet her first. Otherwise, there's just no way to know. All right, let's go meet her. Because I remember Tad wanted like, yeah, he's like, I can't wait to find out her bench weight. See, exactly. I feel like they would get along really well. They're both sporty, workout, exercise-y people. It sounds like you really get me, Vivian. I think we'll make a super team. They're kind of cute, too. Seems like the two of you are already getting along really well. So, do you think you want to give moving in together a try? I'm thinking a rival would be great for motivation. I accept the challenge, Vivian. Let's see what you got. Oh my goodness! I think I chose the perfect two, I'm not gonna lie. Wait, now I have to remodel her home? Oh, I guess there is a second person in it. Oh, I didn't- oh, that's a lot of work. I thought this one was perfect just how it was. Yeah, look at that! That's perfect! There's nothing to remodel. Tad does need a little sombrero, though, I must say. Whoa, I get to stay here? This is pretty great, slurp. I am so looking forward to seeing Charlie's design. Go design your heart out. Okay, okay. The outside is just perfect, honestly. I don't think there's any changes to be made, but Tad does need an outfit change. And oh my god, I love this. Where's the tiny sombrero? It's the dress code for this house. Oh my god. He looks fantastic. And the, uh, the, yeah, the heart. Yeah, 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 yeah. This looks so good. Okay. Roomies that match together, stay together. Am I right? Oh god, this place is real dark. Okay, let's get started. We'll make the room bigger. Okay, I would like to keep Vivian's room intact as much as possible. So I think what I'm gonna do is just move everything over and put a wall there. Yeah, that looks good. Now let's see, partition wall. Ah, there's too many disco balls. I literally can't even see what's going on. Oh, there's so little space here, okay. Okay, that looks like it'll work well. So this is Vivian's half. This side is gonna be Tad's half. He likes to like bench press and stuff and other such activities. Okay, yeah, first things first, a light. We'll just have one fluorescent light over here. 
we'll have these little shelves. I can't even see. Is there, are there things on those? I don't know. It looks great. We'll have a water cooler here because hydration is essential. Then we'll have some weight benches, barbells, treadmill. Oh, he seems like a punching bag type of guy. Kettleball, yes. Um, I can't see anything. How am I supposed to design in these conditions? Hold on, temporarily I have to turn the light on. Oh, these shelves are all messed up. Okay, I think he only needs like one of each item because he is only one person. So we're gonna put that little weight thing there. We'll have a kettle ball there in case he feels like using that for whatever you use that for. And then just some protein over here by the water cooler. And then the bike and the treadmill can go here. It can be the community treadmill. We'll put it like down there. And then the punching bag. Uh, maybe we'll put the punching bag against this wall. I think this looks great. I think that it suits both of them. Maybe more fluorescent lighting for our friend Tad. Yeah, I think this looks good. It's like really something. All right, are you guys good? This is the start of a beautiful glow up slurp. Get hype. That was the worst thing I've ever heard. All right, I think we're all good here. This is a vacation homes theme is a gym to dance it out. Are you happy with the theme? Do you think you need- No, I think that's, that's pretty accurate, honestly. Wow. Oh my, we're doing another walkthrough. Okay. We're not gonna be able to see anything. <laughs> like, there's- They are on the right sides though. That's very cute. I like that. Oh, they're so happy in their rooms. It's just a wall. I think. I wouldn't know. Wow. I took absolutely nothing away from that. I didn't even- Like, it was literally just the walls. Okay, you enjoy your little house there. Wow, I was not expecting that. So now we have a new like roommate mechanic where people can live with other villagers. I like it, I like it. All right, let's do maybe one more design. I think that that would be good. Who do we have here? Oh, it's Velma. I like Velma. She wants a schoolhouse though. I already made a school. I can't make anything better than that. Okay, here's the thing. I really like Diana. I think that's her name. That's totally her name. I really like Diana, but like when somebody asks for a peaceful home, I can't not make the most like least peaceful. What is the sentence I'm saying? Like if somebody asks for a peaceful home, I need to make it as bad as possible. You know, like it just has to be done. Like when Boots says, I want a peaceful farm. It's like, okay, you want a chainsaw farm is what you're saying. And her theme is a place to meditate. Maybe I'll make a nice meditative place. Or maybe I'll go the complete opposite direction. I'm not quite sure yet. Either way, I think we need to choose a place that is, I don't know, a lot of solitude. A place that is secluded. That kind of looks nice. Yeah, let's go with this one. A place to meditate. Okay. I am on pins and needles to see what you'll do with it from here, no doy. That is such an awful catch for- no doy. Like, are you a second grader? Okay, first things first, I'm gonna do the house. I'm just gonna kind of match Diana's color palette, do something like this maybe. I think that looks kind of cute. I like that, I like that. Now, what items do we have at our disposal? An aroma pot, fortune telling set, elegant lamp, okay. Okay, okay, I see what they want from me. But there's a little part inside of me that just keeps saying, deer scare, put down a deer scare. And you may be wondering, what is a deer scare? Well, let me show you. This, deer scare. It's so meditative. I can't tell if I hate that or if I like it. It never stops. Oh. <laughs> I'm kind of mesmerized. Like, this is a little meditative. I accidentally- I tried not to do the prompt and then I accidentally sort of did it. I'm just listening to it and it makes me feel weird inside. <laughs> like, what's going on? I think I hate it. It makes me- it's like making me feel odd. I don't like it at all. Ugh, I don't like it. It's making my- like, my head hurt. It's kind of like rain on a window, which is meditative. I just don't quite know. I mean, I'll keep it. Okay, let's put her in a more deer scary outfit. Oh, sweet relief. Oh, my my head. Um, what is the most deer scare outfit? Ooh, a paper boy cap. Like <laughs> why she just looks like somebody working at an auction. That's the most deer scare thing. Like it's it's speaking to me for some weird reason. 
Maybe working as an auctioneer is meditative. You know, they actually do. They have that rhythm where they're like, one day, so like, it kind of works, you know? I hate it. Oh my God, I need to get in the house. I hate this, I hate this. It's making me feel so weird. Should we make her an auction house? I, I just feel like that doesn't really make sense. That would be funny though. Okay, I'm making an auction house. Let's see. Oh, that's kind of auction housey. Oh, it's like the auction house from Animal Crossing City Folk. Okay, I'm kind of into it now. Now I'm invested in this idea. Now let's see. We need chairs for people to sit in. Oh, this. This simple chair. This is a massive room. Oh my god. The better to auction in, I suppose. Oh my god. I just learned you can click a certain button and it copies it. So all the times that I've had to individually change the color of something or put it in a different position, I literally could have just copied it. I- Bruh. I'm, well, I'm glad I figured that out before I spent a million years putting down all these auction chairs. Okay, I think that looks pretty good. I want to put some rugs down because that just feels like something that would be in an auction house is just like a rug. I don't know why. Yeah, I could go with this. Okay, I think that looks pretty good. Pretty auction-y. Ooh, we can use these counters that Nico gave us to put all the auction items on. I feel like I am having a continuous brain blast as I design this. And look, instead of customizing all of these individually, I can literally just go like this. Whoa. We're gonna auction off all of her belongings. Let's see, any other interesting things we can auction off? How about this tomato? Yeah, that looks good. Um, we could also auction off this statue. I'm sure that's worth something. This could be an antique. You never know. I also need like the pedestal for the auctioneer to stand at. Ooh, a vintage TV. That's a good item. A watch. That's also good. Now, can I have the podium, please? Oh, yes, there it is. Okay. I honestly feel like this looks really good. Only thing is maybe if there's some like lights we could hang on the wall, that might just kind of you know, increase the immersion. Yeah, these are perfect. This is just fantastic. Okay, it's looking good. I think we may be done. Yeah, I think so. All right, Diana, let's see what you think of your new vacation home. A place to meditate. The auction house. Just what everybody's mind first goes to. Oh my God, what the f- what? Hello? <laughs> what? Oh my god! What was that? Why did she just like get possessed by a demon in the middle of that, that montage? Am I missing something? Like, what? Good lord, okay. I'm gonna go as soon as possible. I need to get out of here. Oh, that place just gives me the heebie-jeebies. Like, I like Diana, but I did her- I, I, I don't know how I feel about her now. I feel weird. Thank you. I feel bad taking this money. I just feel weird after that build. I don't know what just happened. A moment ago, Wardle was praising you for how hard you're working. Never heard him chatter on so. Isn't that right, Wardle? When did he slip out? I swear he can be quick when he wants to be. He must have gone to stare at the ocean. Aww. You know what? The two of us should take a break too, at least until he gets back. I suggest a relaxing stroll around the island. Oh, that's their way of telling me to stop. Well, get, joke's on you. I was gonna stop anyway. Hi, Wardle. Whatcha doing? Listen closely. Oh, okay. Do you hear the world's sounds? The waves breaking as the wind chases them ashore? Yeah. I don't know. I can't stop laughing. It just makes me think of Monster Zink when he's like, Do you hear that? It's the winds of change. It's the winds of change. I'm sorry I'm ruining your nature appreciation. If you allow the sounds of nature to surround you, then peace and relaxation can be yours. I believe that I'm going to head back now. Will you meet me there again sometime, my friend? Okay. That was such an odd little interaction. It's so wonderful to be surrounded by the sounds of nature. I could fill someone's home with these sounds. What? Oh my gosh. That is fantastic. I cannot wait to use that next time. All right, well, that is all the houses we're gonna be decorating for today, but thank you guys so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed, and if you did, feel free to leave a like or subscribe to the channel. I'd love to have you here. I believe that we've decorated 17 houses out of 30, so I, we still have a fair amount to go, but we're getting pretty close to the end of the DLC, and I'm excited to see the other things we unlock for decoration abilities and all the other villagers we're gonna meet.
meet. It's going to be a good time. But yes, that is all I have for today, and I will see you guys next time. Bye!